Hello guys, welcome back to Simple This for Living. This is Rami and today I'd like to share my recipe for alu machiriki tarkari or canned mackerel and potato curry. This is a very common food on the islands. Every Indo-Fijian, Fiji Indian um, has made this in their household. I remember eating it at least once every two weeks if not more often when I was growing up. I try to make this at least monthly in our house now. I enjoy this a lot with white rice or basmati rice on the side. It has to be hot. I like radishes, some green chilies, and um, lime or lemon if I have it. It's a very simple dish but very delicious and again many variations so here's my recipe. Before I start, I want to say that the recipe is going to be on my website and you can get the link to that down below. Um, you're going to need some potatoes. Of course, you're going to need canned mackerel. There's many varieties out there. Get the one that you prefer. Um, I don't favor one over the other, but if you do, get the one you like. There's also one with tomato sauce, so if you get that one, you can omit the tomatoes. I'm using uh, fresh tomatoes here, um, some sliced onions, some ginger and garlic that I'm going to grind up. Um, and some curry leaves. Um, I think curry leaves is quite important in this recipe because it does impart a great flavor in this particular recipe. For spices, you're gonna need uh, Fiji masala, garam masala, turmeric, I'm using some cumin, some chili powder, and asafoetida or hing, which is optional. You can leave that out if you like. Um, I'm using tamarind pulp as my souring agent here. Um, you're gonna need some oil. Um, I like to garnish um, with cilantro. You're gonna obviously need some salt to taste. And um, you're also going to need some water. And that's gonna depend on how much surwa you like or gravy you like in your curry. So to start off, when you get your canned mackerel, I like to drain the, the liquid that it comes in, the brine. And then uh, I like to wash my uh, the fish because it comes out uh, sp very fishy smelling, uh, to be honest. And then when you wash it, kind of gets rid of that. Next, you want to take out all the bones. Um, so when you split open the filet, um, there's going to be these mushy bones. <laughs> That's the bones uh, in the fish. You want to remove all of those. Um, and then you just want to break up the pieces, uh, the big fillets, into smaller pieces. You can do this in the pot too. I like to do it ahead of time because I'm obviously going, already handling this, so might as well break it up into the chunks that I like. Some people like it chunky. Some people like it more mushed. It's personal preference, so do whatever you prefer. Um, I personally like smaller chunks. I don't like them big. Okay, we're going to take a heavy bottom pan here and put it on high heat. And then we're going to add our oil. When the oil is hot, we're going to go in with the onions and the tomatoes. And we're going to saute those until they're nice and soft. I'm also going to add a little bit of salt here. It just fasts up the cooking process. And I also like to season my food as I'm cooking. So... I don't like to add salt all in at once. I like to do it um, in gradual amounts as I'm cooking. And in the end, I always taste um, before I turn off the heat and adjust the salt to taste. So you're gonna saute this until it's a little soft. And once it's soft, you're gonna go in with your um, garlic and ginger paste. Um, now I just uh, smash them up quite quickly. Um, and my mortar and pestle, but you can make them a little bit finer or you can uh, just chop them up if you like. Next, we're gonna go in with your curry leaves. Um, the curry leaves, again, I'm using fresh curry leaves here. It imparts a great flavor in this dish, so if you have it, use it. Then I'm gonna dump in all the spices and then I'm gonna mix this. If you feel like the spices are getting caught at the bottom, um, you can add a little bit of water to help um, cook the spices. You do want to cook the spices a little bit. And then you're going to go in with your potatoes. Um, I drained the potatoes, the water in the potatoes, and I just dumped them in here along with some salt. Again, seasoning as I go. I'm going to mix everything up and then you're going to let this cook for a couple of minutes covered um, and with the heat on medium. Then we're going to go in with about a cup of water. Now you're going to have to adjust the water um, to your liking and as you're cooking this, if you feel like it needs a little bit more water, you can add a little bit water, more water. Um, with the cup of water, I'm going to add in the fish and a little bit of salt and we'll stir this gently and I'm going to cover this and cook this for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now you want to, um, again, adjust water as you need it. And at this point, you also want to add in the tamarind. Um, you can omit the tamarind 
if you don't want it a little sour or if you're gonna um, add lemon or lime juice after 15 minutes um, the way to check to see if your um, a curry is done is to see if the potatoes are done so essentially you're cooking the potatoes and um, the fish is pretty much already cooked then you're gonna garnish just with some cilantro um, and give it a stir taste for salt if you need more salt add it and that's it your dish is done it's very easy um, quite delicious um, I like the sourness that tamarind adds so if you like uh, your machi tarkari um, a little sour go ahead and add the tamarind or uh, squeeze a little bit of lemon or lime when you're eating this this is great with some rice I like it with a little something crunchy on the side so radishes and then of course um, some green chilies or if you like them a little bit spicy um, I really hope you enjoyed this recipe if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing until next time you guys I'll see you guys very soon and if you end up making this dish please share with me on my social media take care and I'll see you guys very soon bye bye